Hi, lassies and laddies, the wee burn from the Emerald Isle. Be bringing you a cute caper flick, proving you not be messing with the cleaning crew. I know that was bad. Cinematic Lats is about to begin. Your professor is in. Salutations, another sundry affair. I am your cinematic professor and purveyor of truth in movies. And tonight's lesson plan is a film called The Cleanup Crew, and it comes to us from Saban Films. I had a really good time uh, with this movie. It's one of those uh, dry British caper films that I really, really like. And, and it's written in that style. You know, it had to undergo a massive writing shift. And I'll explain that a little bit uh, later in the review. The Good Life Cleaning Company is called to clean up a mess that was caused by a gangster blowout, okay? As they're cleaning, they find jammed into a chimney a suitcase full of money what to do with that money. Now, naturally, there's four members of the cleaning crew, so you're getting four different opinions on what we should do with the money. And naturally, the conflict in that provides the guffaws and the chuckles throughout the film. What really helps this movie along is its cast. It's pretty good, pretty solid. The four members of the Good Life Cleaning Company are John Reese Myers. He plays Alex. He's the character that needs to be uh, talked into uh, doing something with the money. He's the type of guy that just says, you know, turn it over to the police and let's wash our hands of it. Sven Temmel is uh, very, very entertaining. He plays Chuck. And Chuck is, um, well, initially... You think Chuck is kind of a drugged out, you know, been there, done that, party too much in the early days. But it turns out he's got a rather a checkered past, which includes a lot of uh, paramilitary training, which comes in handy later in the movie. Ex Katarina Baker plays Megan. She is Alex's girlfriend, and she, boy, keep an eye on this one. She not only wants the money, she wants a whole lot more. And Melissa Leo shows up as Sigabon. She is the uh, company owner, and she's the one that says, just stuff the suitcase back in the chimney, clean the rest of the house, and get the hell out. Just forget anything ever happened. Coming up in this movie also is Antonio Vandaris, who plays Gabriel, and he is the gangster whose money they have. Mr. Barrett, we never received our payment last night. What do you mean? You're making a mistake. That money never made it to the drop site. I need my money. As soon as possible. I'm sick of this. Cleaning up blood? Me too. Guys, there's a suitcase in the chimney. We found two million in cash, but we opened Pandora's box. Give me the case. I don't get paid enough for this. Who's your boss? Charlie. How hard you hit him? Hmm. What now? You find out who the money belongs to. We go there, we kill them, we chip the money. Tell me where to work. Who are these people? Dip them. Who's your boss? Bring me a money right here, right now! What is that? No! Duck. <gasps> There's no going home now. Who sold us out? I sold no one out. Everyone sees what you appear to be. If you experience what you really are, things are about to get so much worse. <laughs> Wait, wait, 
Wait, wait! Who are you people? Weather cleaners. Now behind the camera, the director of the movie is John Keyes. This is the fourth movie that he has done with Antonio Banderas. Those two like to uh, work together, obviously. The last film I think they did was, was Kill Room. I did a review on that some time ago. It was, it was a pretty good film. It was written by Matthew Rogers, and it was edited by R.J. Cooper. Cooper's been around a while, and he does a real good job in pacing this one together. The fight choreography was done by Gavin Coventry. Gavin's a pretty decent fighter, and he's put together some decent street fight scenes for you. The armorer is Syrian Downs, and uh, there's a lot of weaponry in this. Now, normally I go to my weapons expert. He was not available when we watched this film, so I'm going to assume that uh, Syrian did a good job in picking out the weapons that were used. It looked okay to me, but I'm not the expert on that. As I said, this movie was made in Ireland. A little bit more about Matthew Rogers' writing and why it was filmed in Ireland. But first, I think it's time to peel back those veils of time. Back to the early Cretaceous period. For the nation's first and only prehistoric film critic, let's check in with Rich. This movie is a bit below Antonio Banderas' talent level, but he seems to be having fun playing in comedies. The cleanup crew is good for a few chuckles and belly laughs. Certainly better than fighting a Triceratops. Thank you, Rex. Originally, this movie was set to be made here in America. A couple of things happened along the way. First off, some of the restrictions for COVID for the production studio were still very stringent here. And uh, that caused some problems with the distribution company. So the whole crew picked up and they went across the pond to Ireland where the restrictions were starting to loosen up and things were a little bit freer. And they went over there. This caused uh, Rogers to have to tweak the script to get, uh, a bit because first it was intended for American audiences and now filming in Ireland, it was meant more for United Kingdom audiences. So they tweaked an awful lot of the storyline, some of the gags, and obviously the humor. And the humor in this now is that very dry, witty British humor, which which I like an awful lot. It, it provides a lot of chuckles and, you know, like smirks and stuff. I think that's really good. And this movie does have an awful lot. I think even the script fits in better with this type of humor. And as such, I think you'll really enjoy the cleanup crew. I know I did. I thought this movie was an awful lot of fun. And uh, as Rex had pointed out, Bandera seems to be having a blast doing these comedies. You know, it's not a bad idea. He's getting a little older and sometimes doing, you know, Expendables 27 might, might be getting aware a little bit on the old bones. So uh, he does it well. He has good timing in comedy and uh, his Machiavellian rants of this are rather entertaining. I like this one. I think you will too. The name of the movie is The Cleanup Crew, and it is available now on most of your streamers. Be sure to check it out. I think it'll give you a couple of good laughs before we get out. Don't forget that Rex and I are now on X. Yes, it has taken some time, but we're there. Here's the URL. You can plug up and talk to us on a daily basis, if and when you so desire. I'm sure it'll be fun for everyone. And we're thinking about going to Truth Social. We've been approached by them to uh, bring the show over there. Uh, we're still kind of checking it out a little bit. Seems like it might be more, I don't know, there might be too much politics. Well, maybe we'd fit in there better then, because you know, something 
sorbet for the palate, so to speak. So we'll, we'll give that a try. If you have any comments on that, leave them down in the comment section below. And let me know what you think about us shifting over to Truth Social as well. And before we run, don't forget the Rex Real store is open. We are featuring all of our back to school items. There are uh, smartphone, iPhone uh, uh, cases, there's notebooks, there's journals, there's mouse pads, there's uh, covers for your uh, tablets and for your laptops, all kinds of stuff, all with the Rex Real in a variety of colors. You can really stand out in school and be where it is. Clean up crew. Think you're gonna like it. And now that you've learned what you have to learn. Here in the